Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and Good morning, morning SI. SI. Happy Tuesday. I'm Aiden. I'm Natalie. And, and here, here are your, your morning, morning announcements. announcements. Hey entrepreneurs, on behalf of the Entrepreneur Club leadership, you're invited to our first club event of the year. This event is based on the popular show Shark Tank. A panel of judges will determine which group's idea for the assigned topic is the best. There will be a $30 Starbucks gift card on the line for the winning group. Come to room 224 this Friday, November 17th, during X period, and scan this QR code to RSVP. Snacks will be provided. Now here's a gobble from the turkey trot. Oh, you know, pretty good. Just hanging out here on the piazza. Hey, that sounds great. Okay, 8.30 at the lake, nine o'clock walk or jog. Is it still $10? And all the benefits go to St. Anthony's. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That sounds great. You can count me in. Thanksgiving Day, 9 o'clock, Lake Merced. I'll be there. The South Asian Club will be holding their first meeting in room 303 at 3 p.m. today, Tuesday the 14th. Come to eat food and do henna tattoos. This event is open to all, so hope to see you there. Scan this QR code to RSVP. Surprise, surprise. Hey, SI, it's Vaccaro here from the College Counselors, here to give you some quick reminders for seniors. And guess what? The Public California Colleges and Universities has an upcoming deadline. Yes, I'm talking about the nine UCs, the 23 CSUs. It is November 35th, and it's a hard, hard deadline. And to help you complete your applications and review your work, we have two more additional optional drop-in college application workshops in the Coral Room during X period on Friday, November 17th. Yes, this Friday, right before Thanksgiving break, because we're going to be all offline during the break. And then Tuesday, when we come back on November 28th. And what's that thing that Mr. Lucchese does? Oh, that's right. Are you interested in making sandwiches for the less fortunate in exchange for service hours? Join us in room 109 with peanut butter and or jelly on Thursday after school in support of the Feed Bright Futures Club. Hope to see you there. Now here's a message from Dance Workshop and BSU. Hey SI, we're Dance Workshop. Come support us at our concerts this Thursday and Friday. Thursday at 7 p.m. And Friday at 3 and 7. See you there SI. Hey SI, tomorrow, November 15th, BSU is hosting our Thanksgiving potluck in the Commons at 6 p.m. We'll be having food, music, and games. All BSU members are welcome. Come by and bring your favorite Thanksgiving dish and come enjoy some fun with the community. Remember, this counts towards your jacket requirements. Hope to see you there, SI. SI is officially starting a rugby team this year as a club sport. Tryouts begin the week after Thanksgiving. No prior rugby experience is required to try out and play. To receive more information and to sign up for tryouts, come to an informational meeting today during both lunches in the old gym. Scan this QR code to indicate interest. Girls Who Code is having a meeting during X period on Tuesday, 1114 in room 203. Come by for the yearbook photo and to talk about the latest project. Hope to see you there. Hey SI, come join the Korean Culture Club in celebration of Pepero Day. Make sure to bring all of your friends for lots of snacks, a lesson on Pepero, a Kahoot, which is a chance to win even more snacks, a giant box of Pepero, six packets in there. 
To your minders for seniors, choose your senior portrait yearbook pose. Instructions are in the proof packet or see Ms. Schwartz in room 222 or Ms. McGovern in room 301 for help. Baby photos are due to yearbook by November 15th. See the email from Ms. Schwartz for details. Hey SI, are you funny? Do you like making your friends laugh? Do you want to make fun of teachers with zero repercussions? You should think about joining SI Live. SI Live is a live sketch comedy show written and performed by you, the students of SI. Auditions will be held November 27th, 28th, and 30th in room 115. Scan this QR code if you are interested in writing or acting for the show. Auditions will not be necessary for writers. The Block Club Blood Drive is happening this Thursday, November 16th. It takes only 15 minutes to provide someone with a life-saving unit of blood. You will also get a free t-shirt for your donation. Scan this QR code to sign up, and be sure to check your email afterwards for forms and instructions on what to do the day before and the day after of the drive. Now here's an announcement from Casino Night and the Christmas Drive. Hi, I'm Emerson. Hi, I'm Ellie, and here's our Casino Night announcements for Student Council. Tickets go on sale in the flyer below. They are $30 up till midnight on November 26th, and then they go to $40 on November 27th. See you, See you there! At SI, our mission states, SI challenges its students to lead lives of faith integrity, and compassion, and that we strive to be men and women with and for others, responding courageously to the opportunities and challenges of our time. Since 1980, SI has supported our neighbors in the St. Dominic's Church community through the holidays. The drive began 43 years ago when two sisters were trying to meet the needs of the St. Dominic's community. I think, I think it was around 1980, yeah, I think so. the first year we got together. I said, well, why don't, why don't you guys come and help us? Well, that was wonderful because St. Ignatius said they'd raise all the money, they'd pack the boxes, bring the boxes out and put them in our place. Our goal this year is to support 260 families in the Western Edition with a $30 Safeway gift card for each family, a $20 Target gift card for each child or teenager in the family, and a box of pantry staples. The Christmas drive begins today and takes place over three weeks until December 5th. Each 7th period class has been assigned one or two items to bring in before December 5th. 25 total items will then be put into each box of pantry staples. And there are many ways you can get involved. First, you can bring in your assigned items to your 7th period class and place them in the boxes provided. Second, you can support the food sales with my school bikes or cash donations in your classrooms throughout the drive. Our goal is to raise $20,000 to cover the costs of all the Saver and Target gift cards for the families. We will also be selling pie and hot cocoa today during lunches and Costco muffins this Friday. After all the pantry staples have been collected in classes, the items will be brought to the commons on the last day of the drive. Faculty, staff, and students in the commons will be asked to help build a food box and help pack all 260 boxes. On Friday of that week, after the potatoes, onions, apples, and oranges are picked up from SI alum Sal Rizzo in the East Bay, Frank and Monica Verducci drive the truck to SI where parents guardians and SI students help load the 260 food boxes. Everything is then brought to St. Dominic's. The involvement of people across the SI community is extensive with SI alums and parents of SI grads assisting with the drive in big ways. Picking up the produce in the morning and then we come back to the high school and we pick up all the canned goods and then we deliver it to St. Dominic's. It's kind of like a big family but it's usually uh, four, pal four full pallets of stuff. I mean, it's a pretty good size load. It's a great donation every year. The boxes and produce will be distributed to the families from St. Dominic's. Students alongside their parents or guardians will help pass out the boxes, bags of produce. Students from the orchestra and spirit band have played holiday songs during the box distribution to put everyone in the holiday spirit. The drive is one example of a charitable act we can all participate in this holiday season. You know, a few years before the pandemic, we used to pretty much only see homeless individuals. Now we're seeing older seniors, uh, people who are food, uh, food challenged because their SSI is $900, that all goes to rent. So how do they eat? And so we provide a store to the Lima Center guests and everyone can come in and get four items, whether it be fresh bread that we had that day, some canned goods, maybe some pasta sauce or some pasta, things that'll help them get through the week. So the Christmas, give that St. Ignatius does here with St. Dominic's actually gives all year round. 
We hope that you continue to engage with meaningful service and social justice issues across your time at SI and throughout your lives. The root causes of food insecurity in our city need our attention and response. So when you give up your time and you volunteer, to me it's a lot more meaningful when you can be more hands-on and, and help people that way. And that to me is, is the real core of, of what SI is about, is just helping others. Thank you for helping with the Christmas drive in any ways you can this holiday season. You'll find out more in your 7th period classes today. Let's make this a great holiday season for the St. Dominic's Community SI. That's it for today, SI. Go Cats! Go Cats! Go Cats! That's it for today, SI. Go Cats!